chimneys. Sure. When they come out of the kiln, they'll be fire, they'll fire out at about 21 inch. So they're made just under 24 inch. To allow for shrinkage. The clay we use is an alluvial clay that's dug from the banks of the Humber, about a mile away from the tile works. The clay is normally used for tiles, but it's also very, very good clay for pots, for flower pots, for chimneys. It's a very plastic clay, quite an unusual clay. So even though it's a dark colour now, this will fire out a normal sort of orange red terracotta. So this lump of clay is 45 pounds. And because of the chimneys, because they're very tall, the clay is a little bit stiffer than you'd normally use for a, a flower pot in order to, so it will hold its own weight up. towards me, or pushing it out rather. Now with these you've got to make sure the bottom, the inside's all cleaned out before you finish the pot because once you've finished it you can't actually reach down to the bottom inside. So then we start to collar up or pull. metal rib on the outside and a wooden block on the inside so you don't get any throwing rings and it also compresses the clay a lot more. And you're squeezing the clay between the two and pulling it up. Straighten it up a bit. And when you're pulling up, you're actually pulling up higher than the measurement will be in the end. Because every time you bring the pot out slightly, you lose height. The clay we use is an unwashed clay. We don't clean it as such it's, as, it is come, as it comes out of the ground, although we do weather it for a, 
about a year or so before we use it. or a pastry crust. And then the last final clean up on the foot ring. to emphasize it. And one last quick check on the measurement. 